Hello and welcome. I am Lijia Polos. Now getting a slot and an appointment for vaccination for age group 18 to 45 became tough. Have you also been struggling for this? What I did was get a registration which is very easy to do in COVID website. By the way registration is not the problem. Uh, getting a slot and an appointment turning out to be a challenging issue now. Here I used a Python code um, which automated the booking process and I got my slot. The code is available in GitHub. Let me be frank, this is not checked in by myself. I am just demonstrating you how to set it up. The end courtesy goes to the person who checked in this code. Let's start without wasting any time. First, you have to register in Cobin website. If you have a plan to travel abroad, then better use your passport as ID proof because now many countries started accepting only vaccinated people in your vaccination certificate if you have your passport number then immigration clearance will be smooth yeah so let's start uh, to begin with uh, see there are two methods uh, uh, we are using for booking the vaccine slots first method anyone uh, with the basic computer knowledge can follow it that's the one uh, this video is about and method two, I have just uh, given the steps to follow, uh, but at present I'm not making a video. I may create it later on. You can go through the code uh, if you want. This is more intended for tech savvy people. So the first method, it is 50% uh, automated and you have to manually enter OTP and capture. But in method two, it is 100% automated. But anyway, let's see this uh, method one. So first we need to uh, download the Python and we can download it from uh, their website or you can use the link what I have provided in the description. So what all uh, instructions I have provided over here, everything is available in the description box. So the Python it got downloaded and it doesn't require any license. Uh, so there is a checkbox at Python 3.7 to path. Just ensure this is check checked because uh, okay, anyway, I'm not explaining the technical steps over here. So the setup is successful and we can close this. And in case if you have any other machine, something like not the 64 bit, then you can go to your Python and you can download the respective version. So anyway, let's continue here. So the first step we have completed. Now the second step. So here is the uh, code we have for this uh, booking slot. So let's go to. This is a GitHub repository. And uh, here you have an option to download the code. So if you have a GitHub desktop, then you can just clone it. Else what you can do is, you can uh, download it in the form of zip. Yeah, it got downloaded and you can extract and keep it in any other. There it is. Yeah, you can just right click and extract it to anywhere you want to keep it. For the time being, I have kept it under this user. Um, you can keep it anywhere where you want but only one thing you have to remember is this folder location you have to keep it somewhere else okay so this is the second step we have downloaded it then the third step this one so before doing this you have to go to command prompt Just type cmd you will get the command prompt and you can check whether python got installed or not you can see Python 3.73 that's the version here so now we have to take this step this command you have to take it and we will navigate to that respective folder where we kept this uh, file that's it. second step there is fourth step
actually it was already installed in the machine so uh, it was smooth and it got completed within seconds till here it's a one time setup then now this is the uh, another step the last step Here we have to uh, enter our registered mobile number. So, this. Then uh, it will be asking for uh, OTP whether you want to enter it manually or not. Anyway, in this method one, we are entering everything manually. So we just press yes. So it will send OTP uh, to the number. Now we have to enter the OTP what we have reset. I have used a dummy number over here. I am not giving my number. Here we have to enter the OTP what we have received. So at this step it is asking about whether do you want to uh, reuse the uh, configuration or something. Anyway, anyway we have not configured anything as of now. So we will give no for the first time. So these are the beneficiaries uh, listed out under uh, the phone number what I have provided. If you have multiple people over here, then everybody's name will be listed over here and uh, index is one, two, three, four like that. So uh, here it is asking us to enter uh, the comma separate index numbers. Basically uh, in our case, it's one. If you have more people then one, two, three, four, means everybody's index number you have to provide here. So currently it is one for me. Then um, this is uh, whether do you have any vaccine preference means uh, either COVID shield or COVID which one you want anyway do not have any preference so zero and uh, we have we can search it based on pin code or state or district so if you give pin code uh, then you have to press enter one then in the next option you have to give your pin code something like this with the comma separated one if you want. You can give comma separated else if you want to search it with the state you can go for option two and anyway, i'm going with option two now then see the entire states are listed over here so out of this i am going to pick up 17 for karnataka yes 17 then next district you have to select i'm going to choose four for bbmp And if you are looking for two people slot then you can just mention two um, then in my case i'm giving one this is how often you want to refresh the calendar so from 1 to 15 seconds you can give i'm giving three seconds so every three seconds it will check the site mm, this is starting from when so i just give one for today from today onwards this is for fee type preference, zero for no preference, one for free and second one is only paid option. So anyway, we do not have any preference. Then this is the place it's asking for whether you want to fill this captcha automatically or not. Anyway, we are giving no here. In the step two method, we will be giving yes, but in our case, we are giving no. So this is the place we our uh, search criteria will be saved into a file when you enter next time you don't want to give all this information like a selecting state your preference nothing you have to give it and there will be an option whether you want to reuse the file or not. So currently you can give Y here then all the search criteria information will be saved into that JSON. Here we can see there are slots available. Okay. Anyway, I'm not submitting it because I created this information just for demonstrating purpose. So once you end the summit over here, then you will get a confirmation. There is a login. Yeah. yeah. You will get a confirmation message like this. When you come next time, you can just come to command prompt. And if it is defaulted to any path, then you can use it. Else you have to use this CD. And now we get to that folder where we have then use this code not for command again it will be asking for the mobile number and OTP that you can provide 
yeah once you enter uh, your otp then it will ask this question whether you want to uh, reuse the file so here we'll give yes so all our search criteria will be available here we can just have a look at the search criteria what you have provided so uh, bpmp and it's for one person and all other information what we have provided earlier then you can just hit y then it will start searching in this method uh, method one this uh, loops for uh, almost 15 minutes for finding the slots so because one otp will be valid for 15 minutes after 15 minutes you will be receiving a new otp in your mobile then you can just enter the otp over there in the screen as soon as the slot is open uh, you will be hearing a beep sound uh, on top of that a captcha also will be popped up you enter the captcha without any delay and if you are lucky enough you will get the slot else you can continue this uh, process uh, by giving otp in every 15 minutes and method two anyway as i mentioned earlier it is already described in uh, description uh, i may post a video and not now later on thank you wish you all good luck and have a good day